What's up YouTube? I'm here to show you guys what's in my travel bag for photo and video. Yo, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those who don't know, my name is Tristan and I am a filmmaker and photographer. For those who did see my last video, uh, I know that I was in Malaysia over the summer, but I got COVID, so I didn't actually do as much shooting around the, that I wanted to. So this winter, I am actually gonna go back to Malaysia again, spend time with some family, and uh, to try and get some, some cool photos, maybe shoot a little bit of footage. Uh, I might be working on a short doc or something like that. I don't know, I don't really know yet. But in order to do that, I gotta bring some gear over. When I went in the summer, I brought a lot of gear, like too much. So this is the bag that I brought. This is the newer, I don't know what it's really called, but it's really big. This thing can't fit under your seat in an airplane. It can fit like on the top. It's huge and like for good reason. Like that's a lot of space. Like I brought two bodies, two lenses, full size photo tripod, monitor, rig stuff for video. This is really big. So I really wanted a bag that was smaller. Honestly, this was a pain to bring around in the airports and stuff like that. I got a new bag, which this is the Temba. Temba Fulton 16L V2 or something like that, but it's 16 now, so it's smaller. Um, and you can see it's way, way smaller, I think. Like, yeah, if you see the side profile, that means that I can't bring as much gear, but honestly, that's kind of my challenge, uh, trying not to bring so much stuff. Like, I can be more critical about what I'm using when I shoot, specific things I need uh, when I travel, because I mean, when I'm over there, yeah, it's really far away uh, from the US. Whatever I bring is whatever I'll have. So yeah, we're gonna go through the what I'm bringing in my bag. So this bag can hold a lot of stuff. So we're gonna start with the front pocket, what I have in here. So this is where I'd put like my passport and stuff like that, or like my earbuds or something, because um, it's an easy zip. But I've also got in here my Lacey and my SanDisk. So my editing, hard drive, my storage, as well as my 16 inch laptop, which fits, which is really nice. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it fits and that's the most important thing. Then there's got the roll up, the roll up top here. It's held together by this little hook. So you just unhook that and then you open up the top. And in here, I've got like my toiletry bag and uh, this to me, um, I guess it's just like a little storage bag, but it's got all of my chargers. I'm surprised that all of my chargers can fit in here. This is literally all my power. So my battery chargers, my computer chargers, my phone chargers, and other important cables and such. To close it, all you do is just like, all you do is roll it up and then you fasten it with this hook there, which is pretty cool. So I am bringing another tripod with me this time, but it's not gonna be the full size tripod. I'm just bringing this uh, Joby Gorilla Pod or whatever it's called. It, this monstrosity. It looks, yeah, it's like that. It's terrifying looking, but um, I like it. <laughs> it's useful. I like backpacks with the um, camera stuff in the back. Uh, it just makes you feel a bit more secure. And this is like got this like mesh padding for like if you're sweating or water, like traveling around with it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, here is the camera stuff. The uh, camera that I'm shooting with, my X-T4, is supposed to go right here with a lens on it. Uh, these are SLR Magic Primes. I think they're SLR Mini Primes or something like that. Um, this is a 225. I like these Primes a lot. I have a few of them. I'm gonna probably make a set just because I like shooting on Fujifilm and. I don't mind getting cinema lenses for them. So I'm only bringing one cinema lens. I was gonna bring two. Honestly, I can't fit it in my bag, so that's okay. Forcing me to play with just one focal length, so I kinda like sort of the challenge. Up in this little crevice is gonna be where my Fuji 18 to 55 mm is gonna go. That's my zoom lens. That's what I'm shooting my this video right on right now. Uh, that's my autofocus lens. It's my vlogging lens. It's a good photo lens um, for Fuji. I'm not gonna bring my X-T4 mostly for photography, so I'm leaving a lot of my photo lenses here. Um, this is a pretty deep bag, which means that I, I kind of played a little bit with the storage and with the dividers. So on top of all these batteries, these are my, these are the Fuji batteries. These are the batteries for my monitor, the Sony MPFs. I put a 
uh, divider above my, open it, my X100V um, in order to save some space. I'm gonna be traveling with this. I just need all the stuff to get over there. So there's my X100, my, my, my favorite. I love this camera. Uh, I did a video about it. I'll do plenty more videos about it because I'll probably do a video about the last six months shooting with this camera because I mainly shoot with this camera for uh, photo and I love it. It's a beautiful camera. It's kind of tucked away and then I made a little extra floor of storage to put my batteries there. And I think it's kind of smart. I think it's kind of ingenious, uh, but I don't know. Um, and this compartment here, this long compartment that I sort of did is for all the like long stuff. Peter McKinnon VND V2 signature edition, whatever. Yeah, it's good for a VND. I definitely need a VND if I want to shoot outside video. Mini HDMI for my monitor. It's a blue Condor, Condor Blue. Here's my monitor, the Atomos Ninja 5. Uh, I really like this monitor. I got it because I can shoot in ProRes on my XT4, but I don't know. I got another monitor, it'll probably just be a monitor and not a recorder, but I really like this. My Rode Video Go Mic Mini something, it's really small. <laughs> um, and this dead cat on it down here, all tucked away. I've also got my my Rode Wireless Go 2 stuff, so they're all the chargers. This is the lav and transmitter. The, the transmitter receiver, I'm obviously using the shoe right now, but there's the other one. The I like the Rode, yeah, they're okay. I like them, they do the job. I don't know what else there would be except the DJI ones, but I think they're all the same. Moving on to the lower compartments here. This is where some of my like miscellaneous sort of stuff is and my film camera, so Here's a top handle, uh, Ari locking pin. Um, great top handle, it's pretty big. I have really small hands, so I don't really need such a big top handle. My smaller multi-tool, great, love it. Monitor mount, uh, on my cage. I always keep my cage on my X-T4, honestly. And then tucked away here, besides these lens wipes, I got this Nikon FM recently. It's from the 80s, the guy told me. And it's a very cool looking camera. Uh, Oh yeah, very retro. I love it. It's a, I haven't really got to shoot with it yet, but um, fully mechanical, which is cool. Split viewfinder. And I got it with a 50mm 1.4, Nikkor 1.4. It's an autofocus lens actually, but this does not have, this does not have autofocus. But cool looking camera. Uh, it's, it's not mine, it's actually gonna be a gift, but uh, when I get to Malaysia, I'll probably shoot a little <laughs> on it. I do like shooting in film. I wish I shot on film more, but I don't have a film camera. I'll probably get one eventually though. This is all the gear I'll be taking to Malaysia. It's really all I think I need. I mean, good audio, like with the sh my shotgun and my labs. All my batteries, which I don't have that many, and I just charge them anyway. My monitor, which I like my using my monitor a lot, especially because I hate little LCD screens with the Fuji. A photo camera, which is gonna be mainly my X100V uh, SLR. And yeah, and then my X-T4, which would go right here. In this backpack, there's not gonna be a lot of my uh, camera rig stuff because I don't think that's super essential. So I'm gonna probably put that in my carry-on. That's gonna be stuff like my base plate, uh, my rods, my uh, handle, my side handle, um, and like my follow focus. Um, one thing I'm not bringing is my mat box. I think it's too bulky and too like fragile. I have a small rig mini mat box, light. I broke it, so, uh, and I glued, I fixed it. I glued it back together. I think that it's too fragile to bring, so I don't want to break it again. So no mat box, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll live. One of the reasons I got this bag was because that it can fit under the seat of an airplane. When I'm traveling to Malaysia, I don't really want to be checking in any luggage just cause like airlines right now are, are being really shitty and <laughs> like unpredictable. So um, I'm gonna bring a carry on like suitcase, like luggage that'll go on top. And then this, all my gear, my camera gear and stuff is gonna go under the seat. So it's gonna be like my personal item. I don't like to check in gear, you know, in case of things get lost. So everything that I have that I can shoot with or anything that has to do with production is in this bag. So it's always on me, which I really like. Something that I also like about this backpack is that it is 
slim and uh, unassuming. I like that. Yeah, you wouldn't know it's a camera bag, which is really cool. Um, and <laughs> you wouldn't know it's a camera bag. You wouldn't know it's a camera bag if you saw it. <laughs> like, it just looks like a regular hiking bag. Ow. So, um, <clears throat> so that's what I, so that's what I really like about it. Can't get robbed. You literally could. Just I, well, you, I don't, you know, you don't know. And that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. There's definitely going to be more content coming to this channel. Um, there's going to be more content coming from my trip to Malaysia as well this winter. Um, I really enjoy making videos about photography, about video. Um, and I want to do it more often. And so that's probably my, my biggest goal for, for next year. Uh, so if you really enjoy it, especially like Fujifilm's content, because I, I only shoot with, uh, with Fujifilm and I really enjoy their cameras. They're really fun. If you enjoy that kind of content, stuff about the X100V, uh, street photography, um, even just general video stuff, consider subscribing, liking this video, follow me, follow my other socials and stuff like that. And yeah.